but uh, this might actually fill up the episode if I fail at it enough. I have been known to fail in the past at this. But now that we have the increased magic meter, there's actually something very cool that we can do with it. You could you could have tried this like before, and you would have ultimately failed at it just because it's impossible to win. It's literally impossible to do this without the increased magic meter. I mean, try as you might. I dare you to try it and beat it. And if if I will eat my socks if someone can prove that it is possible to do this without the great without the great magic meter. And without hacks, of course. But. Anyways. I'm just gonna meet you there. Alright, we have approached this island, which it really isn't an island at all. You'll see what I mean in a second. Because I'm pretty sure you didn't see it at all as I approached. Just vast open blue oceans again. You might have seen that submarine over there, though. I know I noted it. I noted it. It was actually a submarine that I kind of wanted to go across, go over before I, before I got the bow, because I think this is the one I'm thinking of. That submarine to the west of here on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks, big ones, little ones. You get the picture. Anyway, they say that long ago there used to be a treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows? Maybe there maybe still be some left. So you should open your eyes and take a look, good look around. You better take a look around. Yeah. So I guess this will fill out the episode if I do this submarine and what awaits at that flight control platform over there, if you caught that name. Because I think this is the Wizrobe submarine. There's a specific one that has, like, Wizrobes on it that's really tough. And there was one time that I, like, came to it before I even had the bow. And you're definitely supposed to have the bow before you attempt this one. I'm just gonna say. Is this the one? Yeah, it is. It sure enough is. But you can beat these guys without the bow. I'm not really going to try here just because... Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, that was random. Hey, no, shoot. Just because I really have no reason to try without the bow now. It'll just make it faster and less painful for everyone. But maybe I'll like come back and do a bonus video or something someday. Because it was really cool doing this without the bow. Like The first few whiz robes, they're really not that hard as you can see here. But... Later on, they actually get pretty gnarly to deal with. Like, see that one? Up, these ones up in the air here? I think, I think this is actually the last set of wizards. Oh my god. I didn't remember everything else around here, though. I thought it was just the wiz robes. But it is po entirely possible to deal with them with your sword and bombs and whatever else you have at your disposal. Kind of like that one wizard by bombs, like, at that platform one time. If you remember that, that was one of my happiest moments in this LP. I just love showing off, like cool game skill like that, even if it was by total luck like that one was. Alright, sweet. Oh yeah, and that's a neat tech tactic of dealing with wizard robes too, is that you can just... They all they all die in one hit to a fire arrow, which is really convenient. But there you go. Rock on, my friends. Oops, don't go off kilter now. Yeah... Ooh, I'm going to take a drink of my water here. So wait, oh my god, the, fl the platform chart. Speak of the devil, wasn't I just talking about that like earlier last video? There you go. So now you know where all the platforms are if you really need to know. Sadly, it doesn't like mark them off as you go. Like, I guess you could technically manually mark them off as you go. Like on a, on a physical real sheet of 8 by 11 inch paper or something of the like. But... I really don't see the need to, as long as I'm doing all the island exploration off memory, I might as well do all the platform exploration off memory too. Ain't it right? It just feels right, man. Okay, so you're definitely gonna want to have full magic when you come when you come here. Because uh, like I said, you can't do this without the extended magic meter, and having that magic meter full is also rather important, as you might have guessed. Because this flight control platform is quite the trifling matter sometimes. You really gotta be good at timing and stuff with this one. Hey, buddy. Greetings, oh person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rio Tribe Birdman Contest. You look like a birdman, so I should pitch this to you. And now, listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the, ro into the roiling seas like so much dead weight driftwood. 
<laughs> smiling all the while saying dead weight drift was such a dreary term. Hilarious. The great and talented champion who has flown the farthest today crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. That's where the banner is. If you are able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion, and then you will do you will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. But what if I have open wounds? I don't, thankfully, but... Ten rupees? Chump change, man. Okay. Then up the ladder you go. My brother awaits you at the top. Uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. Yeah, I ain't no Pegasus. So, do you have something you can use to fly, right? I sure hope so. Here's wishing the wind beneath your... Uh, thing. <laughs> man, I almost slipped up there reading that. I almost said wings just because of how natural it is. But there you go. Let's see what you got to say, Mr. Waluigi. Oh, a challenger! The contest is afoot! You see that banner off in the far distance? The, the, that right, uh, Yeah, you must pass that banner. Alrighty. So, uh, it's quite obvious what we're gonna have to do here, but first things first, you can almost set a few things straight, namely the wind. And there's actually one other thing I kinda wanna try here, because I've never tried this before, but I've heard that it can help just the teeniest, tiniest little bit, which might be what I need to get my extra boost. Yeah, but so you can see that there's whirlwinds out there. So you're going to need to Deku Leaf your way all the way across to pass that banner. It's a huge distance, but those whirlwinds, if you time it just right, you can get it. And, uh, uh this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get out the Tingle Tuner. Okay, Tingle's now in the Game Boy Advance. And, uh, wait, what did I just do? Did I just swing my sword by accident? I'm sorry. I apologize. But what you're going to want to do on your Tingle Tuner, I know you can't really see this at all, but... Uh, there's a thing on here, I'm pretty sure. It's the Tingle Balloon. Uh, where is it? Shoot, I can't figure, I can't figure out what... Okay, yes, it is the Tingle Balloon. Your body will float on air, more move about in the air for five seconds. So this, if you buy it, it will actually allow you... It costs 20 rupees, by the way. It will allow you to walk on air for five seconds, or so, or so I've heard. And that can be a huge advantage in this contest, as you can probably imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And he's going to go tingle, tingle, kulu, limpa. Of course. Uh, please do not fall. Alright, here we go. And I can run, 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 and uh, uh, use, the, uh, use the deck of leaf. Oh, shoot. Let's hope that works enough wonders. Man, that took me way farther than I thought it would for five seconds. Jesus, Kravitz. Uh-oh. See, and if you do that, you can actually sort of go out of your wit. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> if you do that, if you do use that cheating sort of method, sploosh, then you can go uh, out of your way for those whirlwinds. It's worth your time to go out of those way, out of your way for those whirlwinds. If you're not using that, if you're just using, like, if you don't have the tingle tuner at your disposal to use then I would recommend trying to stay as straight and narrow as you possibly can in your path. Oh yeah, he- oh man, I forgot that he actually fills up your magic meter before you do it. Before you do it to it. Yeah, so you're gonna definitely want to fight straight and narrow, but as you can see there, this technique is also not foolproof. I was not used to it, so... But I'm gonna try it again, just because I'm kinda curious to see how far I can make it if I use this to its full extent. Oh, go, go, go! Alright, here we go. <laughs> I love the epic music as I just run along the air. That's hilarious. Alright, let's see if I can catch this whirlwind this time. I'm gonna line myself up with it a bit better, if I can. It's, it's still hard to judge distance for me with these things. It's really sucky. There we go. I got that one. I'm, I'm not sure if that gust will be enough to carry me to the finish here, but definitely that walking on air sure helps. I couldn't tell if that, I, I didn't actually look if that was draining my magic or not. I have a feeling that it wasn't, but it might have been. I don't know, I might not, I still might not make this. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna pass with flying colors, man, look at that. Hell yeah. Did that, did it make me drop or did I actually run out of magic? I couldn't tell. Oh man, go! Shit. <laughs> 262 yards. 
Oh, breathtaking, you show me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. It brings a single tear to my single eye. They, my eyes, they are unworthy, speak of the devil. Hell yeah. Amazing. You blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. You would make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe. I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so, too. You are both great and talented. And you won! So, as the new champion of the Birdman Contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Oh, man, that actually fills another heart container. Holy cap. Holy cap. Not bad. Not too shabby. Shit! Heart container. F I for totally forgot. I warped to Dragners and everything. Uh, maybe. Maybe next recording, because... I'm going to have to end this recording off here. Yeah, I think that'll make out for a nice rounded out session of about 30 minutes. So let's get rid of that Tingle Tuner. Don't need him being around longer than he needs to. Don't overstay your welcome, as they say. Oh man, the, my magic meter is full. Well, actually, I have a way of remedying that really quick, and it'll make a nice outro for the video anyways. So thank you, everyone, for watching my ramblings. I know it was a... Uh, I don't know, I feel, I feel like I was more just silly and stupid this in this recording than I've been in the past, but, oh well, I guess, can't be perfect every time, or any time in my case, but, uh, alright, here we go, yeah, Pfft. whatever, <laughs> just to fill up my magic bar, bar, man, it was definitely worth that 10 rupees, or whatever it cost, 20 rupees maybe, no, it was 20 rupees for the tingle balloon, that's right. Flight distance was six yards. He has a whopping six yards. <laughs> What's he gonna say to that? After my 262 yard feet? Oh, how lamentable. Where was your skill, oh champion? Oh, he still has faith. That's nice. But I'm gonna call it a day now, so thanks everyone oh so much for watching and listening. This is your humble host, Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night. Oops. That's a shoot. It's supposed to. Oh, wait, 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 wait for it. Here we go. Dramatic fade out.